So what's up people, Victor Brania from Nafsta Feelings and today guys I'm going to be showing you something called the smooth cut or move cut transition. So right away I'm going to get onto it. So I have my two clips here. Let me just play this. I have this and then I have this drone, drone shot. So I want to make a transition in between here. So I'm going to go under effects library and I'm going to go under the video transition and actually we have a different name for the morph card so if guys you were previously a premier guy you'll know this as the morph card but in DaVinci we call this the smooth card so you just have to come here and grab my smooth card so I'm going to grab my smooth card and just drop it there close the effects library and right away you see we have our transition in here so if i play my playback is going to be not as smooth as i wish it to be because this thing is just so heavy on my desktop so you can see If I go frame by frame, this is what is happening. It's trying to blend the clips together by just morphing them together. So this is what we call the smooth cut transition. So you can also come in here at the end of the transition if you want it to be longer. And you can see we have all these, these two things that it's like the stretch tool. So you're just going to grab it and just stretch outwards and just you make the, the length you make it longer you make it longer or shorter so you, you guys decide the length of what of your transition so you can see how long it's trying to move these things together and I can also shorten it but I prefer shortening it like so like this so guys i'm going to make it more advanced so i can go just in here under the smooth cut transition under the inspector if you don't have your inspector turned on just turn it on by clicking it so under the mode you can just make it faster under the ease i can just ease it in and out like so so you can just make changes and you can see what just happens it's more fast so if i try to play this still taking a huge chunk out of my computer because my computer is extremely slow and you can also adjust the transition curve and you can also set keyframes for it so you guys decide what you want to do you see you can also like change the, the the transition curve and under ease you can just say is it in or out and even under the alignment you can change the alignment so you can have it on this one side and not on both clips or you can have it on the other side and you see if you have it on the other side this is what happens but I just prefer it in the middle down the middle because this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to make this transition advanced I'm going to add something else so I'm going to go under effects library and I'm going to go under the effects and I'm going to add an adjustment clip on top of this clip so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to make a cut let me just say here select my adjustment clip delete it so right in the middle you just have the adjustment clip just in the middle of the transition so I'm going to select the adjustment clip. I'm going to go under the effects library. Let me just zoom in here so that you can have a bigger view. So I'm going to go under the effects library 
and uh, and uh, the open effects i'm going to come in here and say just let me just select the invert color drag it and drop it in here so if i go frame by frame you can see what is happening it's trying to morph when there's an invert color invert in here so you can add any transition i'm just control z to i can also uh, let's just fit this part i can just come in here and say just say maybe edge detect drag it in here so this is what we have this is what we have finally so it's like some sort of insane transition you just it's just that I can't play it back, but I'll show you the final video where I, I will I surely assure you that the transition will be okay. So we have this, it's trying to morph well the we have the edge detect affecting. And still we come out and we still we are still morphing. So that's it for today guys. This is how you do the insane morph. Or smooth cut transition inside DaVinci Resolve 16. So see you next time, guys. See you next week for another Adobe tutorial. So I've been, I'm, I'm going to be dropping tutorials every single week. So guys, just continue watching my videos to support this channel. Just like and share this video. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, I assure you, if you subscribe, you are not going to lose your time. You're not going. You're going to be learning how to do some stuff inside DaVinci Resolve. You won't waste your time. So that is an assurance from me. And see you next time, guys.